when is it going to be though? And that's a great thing about Amnesia, which makes it a really good game. Now, you could argue that, that maybe it isn't that scary of, you know, you aren't scared of the monster at all. Because then, like, you know, the encounters might not, are probably still going to be relatively scary if it's a jump scare. But, you know, you're not really going to be, oh no, I, I'm anticipating to be scared. You're just sort of like, yeah, let's just play the game, do all these puzzles, you know, get through that. And there's a monster, there's a monster. Um, so there's that problem. But, as it's been said, um, a machine for pigs is going to be scarier, hopefully. Um, which is just terrifying. It's a terrifying prospect. But it's also a good prospect because, you know, the fear factor is what made Amnesia. It, for me, it was the scariest game for a while until sort of Slender came along and that became my scariest game. However, I feel like the uh, I feel like the edge of Slender's really been taken off. Um, oh, um, okay, and coming back to Amnesia, it's a lot scarier than I remember it being. Agrippa, I know that name. I can't feel anything, Alexander. Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move. Will I? Agrippa's that weird sort of like thing. But will it be worth living? Is. I've seen like a couple of things about amnesia. I'm, I'm relatively. I, I know a bit about how it ends. Um. Oh no. Uh. Um. And I know what Agrippa is. It's very, very weird. Is that Agrippa down there? I know Agrippa is something like that. Oh, there's spiky wall and torture machines. That's disgusting. Oh, Agrippa, there you are. Howdy, bud. Who's this switch? Um, Next to me. What do you mean next to you? Where? Help me. I just impaled myself on a spike, didn't I? Next to me. Well, oh, th I thought that was an oil machine. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? Daniel. Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me, are you among the lion's den? You want to stop Alexander? Oh my, so Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> you hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. He has one. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically a penetrant, but I guess that's my home. This is all his speech But Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Well, if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken home and mend away. Damn, did I hurt myself? I Not massively. He uses a for torture now. They practically leap mad. Which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the choir and the transept. You should be able to find them there. <sighs> oh boy. Six. I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at me. 
but if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Reimer, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion, a tonic to free me from this husk of mine. I see. Hang for the dying man seeks a note written by a man named Johann Weyer. What level? Oh, that level. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. Fair enough. Start using tender boxes more. Heavy door is blocking the glass. I have so many mementos just stacking up really quickly. Um, I don't particularly want to use the torch. Massive amount, massive amounts. I know I have oil and a pretty much full lantern thing, but I remember the oil shortage, and that screwed me over a lot in the early game, because I was just like, oh god, there's going to be monsters coming out of my butthole. But there wasn't. Yeah, can't, can't go through there. Go upstairs first. Towards the scary noise. Good. I have, you know, my priorities set well. Don't particularly want to go in there. Not just yet, at least. is somewhere I think I have to go or not. What about door number two? It's probably door number like 17 by now <laughs> since I started doing doors. Yay! Meat! Perhaps if I use meat on this person in here, if there is a person in here. Oh, did I open this door? No. Or maybe I just missed, came in here and missed the tinder box. Okay, so... What? What? Why you confuse me? Fresh meat. I wish that wasn't the sound of chains just casually swinging. Why? Oh, I'm just because I haven't got a torch out, that's why it's 
eating away at my sanity.